Let's take a tour of the completed invoicing solution so you can see how it works. This will help tremendously to understand where we're going at all times. Our goal, in other words. So for starters, we're going to help you design an interface using the built-in themes. We'll talk about all kinds of things you need to understand about window size and things like that. When we create fields, we'll talk about naming conventions. In fact, we'll talk about naming conventions regarding scripts, calculations, tables, table occurrences, layouts, and everything. We'll get into relational design. We'll teach you how to create tables and relate them together so you can produce things like you see right here. The ability to come in here and add a product right onto an invoice. You'll understand how to create all the calculations, all the, the different things that make up this invoicing solution portal. We'll even teach you how to use custom menus so you can change the menus in FileMaker. So we can simply navigate right over to the customer section. I can come up here and with a built-in script I've created, or in fact it's a script trigger, I can come in here and type an O for Osborne, or I can type a J and find all the Johns. Keep going and it keeps filtering it more and more. Go to the particular customer I want. I can look at all the invoices that they have and I can filter that. There's two ways to do it. We can do it by build or build and paid or it can show all three or all four that is or if you uncheck all it's going to show you all of them as well. We can even decide to change it to look at it by date. Let's only look at the items that are between in the month of June. It's up to you. We'll show you how to make these filters so they work correctly. We'll also show you to do a regular find. This is actually more complicated than it seems. And let's move over to products. We'll choose a particular product and you'll see that we have the ability to store documents. So if you're creating a document management system, we'll show you how to add a document and the best ways to do that. We'll cover inventory as well. How to best make your inventory work for you. In fact, we'll cover record locking in regards to this, one of the most important multi-user items you need to consider. And there'll be much, much more. We'll cover just about everything you might want to know about creating an invoicing solution. And again, all these techniques you can take and apply to what you're doing, even if you're not creating an invoicing solution.